Streamers are similar to lures in that both attempt to imitate a bait fish. But streamers can also successfully imitate other food organisms such as leeches or crawfish and large nymphs such as stoneflies and halgrimites. Generally, you match the size of the streamer to the size of the fish you are targeting. The following is a general guideline for streamer size. There are many exceptions to this general guideline. There are over a hundred popular streamer patterns. The below list can keep you happily catching fish for a lifetime. Woolly buggers are by far the most important streamer. They work well under most conditions for all trout species. They come in a variety of types, so let me recommend a couple simple patterns. First, generally, get a woolly bugger having a bead head with at least some glitter material tied into it. I did a study once comparing the effectiveness of a bead head woolly bugger versus a plain woolly bugger, size 8, fish behind a 1 16th ounce spinner. Without the bead head, I found I caught only 40% of my trout on the woolly bugger, while 60% preferred the spinner. When I switched to a bead head woolly bugger that had at least some crystal material tied into it, I then found 85 to 90% of the trout hit the woolly bugger instead of the spinner, a very significant improvement. For brown trout, I recommend an olive color. Start with a size 8. For other trout species, I would recommend black. Size 10 is good for brook trout, and size 8 is good for rainbows and cutthroats. If the water is muddy, then always use black. Under very bright conditions, you may want to use olive regardless of the fish species. I caught this 13 inch brook trout using a number 8 olive woolly bugger during a bright mid-afternoon in a stream that had a little shade. When selecting an olive woolly bugger, try to avoid the lime green version. The darker, brownish olive fishes much better. While I generally fish my woolly buggers like a minnow behind a spinner or spoon, they are one of the few streamers that also do well when drifted like a nymph with the current underneath a floating crankbait. Woolly worms also drift well. I only recommend drifting a woolly bugger in streams that have a moderate to fast current. Otherwise, they should be made to swim like a bait fish. Woolly worms are a close cousin to woolly buggers. I recommend two basic patterns, a number 12 black and a number 10 olive. I'm not sure if the trout think these represent little bait fish or perhaps stonefly nymphs, hogger mites, or some other bug. Nonetheless, I've had good success catching pan-sized trout on these patterns. If you're going after larger fish, I'd recommend a woolly bugger instead. The black ghost is a popular pattern for large trout such as steelhead, salmon, and big browns. Rainbows also seem to like them. I would use it in a size 6 or larger. The closure deep minnow is a popular streamer among fly rod fishermen because it has a heavy weight allowing it to sink deep. For the spin fishermen, I recommend generally staying away from the heavily weighted flies like this. Let the lure get your streamer deep. And then let your streamer be neutrally buoyant so it has better fish enticing action. The horn burr can be used as both a dry fly and a streamer. I've had the best success using it as a streamer and recommend you use it that way as well. Start with a natural color. With a dull olive green color and a small dash of red, I cannot help but to think Matukas imitate small brook trout. I've had very good success on these in streams that have brook trout, catching both brookies as well as browns and rainbows. I recommend size 10 for brook trout and size 8 for everything else. Mickey fans have a wonderful attention getting color, bright yellow with a dash of red, a favorite of big brown trout. The black dace is a similar fly but has more subtle colors and might be a better choice in streams having clearer water or more fishing pressure. These types of streamers can also be obtained in a tandem style, having a second hook tied in the back. While that can be helpful if the fish are biting short, it can also make the fly look less natural. The muddler benno is known as a good imitation of sculpton, a bait fish resembling a small bullhead found in some trout streams. Fish it near the bottom. If the stream is not known to have sculpin, then I recommend using a different fly. Last but not least, the zocker is a great streamer for all types of large game fish. I recommend colors black and olive and would start out at a size 6 for large trout or a size 4 for smallmouth bass. 
I tried using a size 4 olive soccer once for Gar, and I had a lot of action on it. Those Gar really liked that soccer. Trout over 12 inches usually supplement their diet with bait fish and other large food items. Anglers who target large trout often use streamers. Of course, streamers are definitely not just for large fish. Trout under 12 inches can be readily caught on smaller sized streamers. When fishing small streams having few bait fish, where the trout subsist on a mostly insect based diet, you may still catch fish on streamers, but they might not be the most productive fly to use. Generally, the best time to use a streamer is when fish are actively on the prowl in search of food. This would be early mornings, late evenings, or during overcast or rainy days. When water levels are high after a heavy rain, the bait fish are often pushed into small eddies along the shoreline by strong currents. While high water can be difficult to fish or wade, it can also be a good time to catch a large trout on a streamer. When I'm going after a big trout using a big streamer, I usually like to tie a second fly 18 inches behind the streamer to catch any fish that are too small for the large streamer. My favorite fly for this is a number 12 Harris Aerosoft Hackle. Despite the fact that large trout are well known for their preference for large meals, I have actually caught more fish in the 15 to 20 inch range on the small trailing soft hackle than I have on the much larger streamers. Sometimes I put a small streamer behind a large streamer. This trophy 4 pound trout ignored my large size 4 streamer and instead took the much smaller number 10 black woolly bugger trailing behind it. It was no coincidence that small dark colored bait fish could be seen swimming nearby. Clearly this large trout decided it wanted something that looked familiar rather than just something that was large and filling. This highlights an important point. While big trout like big meals, they also like familiar meals that they have confidence are good to eat. Using flies that closely imitate the most abundant food, large or small, is always a good idea especially when trying to catch a large trout.